I've been trying to find a trucking job for the last 14 months, but I can't find anybody who won't lie to me, doesn't give me any reason for concern, or won't say no to the dog. So, the place that I did find is about 200 miles away, so i got to drive to them tomorrow so that I can do their orientation the following day. And I'm going to have to leave him here, and I might get back here late Wednesday, I'm assuming, or Thursday, depending, uh, so that I can get my stuff and get him, and hopefully his food and water, f a couple of five-gallon drums, which so far have barely had anything taken out of it, so he should be fine, since it's been sitting over here for a week, so he's barely moved anything out of him. So. I am hoping that by February 1st, I should be able to afford, even though this place doesn't pay where they shit, it pays a damn sight more than AutoZone. So I should be able to buy the house that I've had my eye on for the last two and a half fucking years. I should be able to buy this house, uh, which still has not been sold. Well, God has a very sick, twisted fucking sense of humor. I don't know if any of you knew that or not, but you should have been <laughs> accustomed to it by now, paying attention to my channel. Um, today was my first day of orientation so that I could work for the next six months straight and hopefully at the end of four months, if I work my absolute ass off, I would be able to afford the house that I've wanted to buy for the last two years that's been on the market that I've been watching for the last two goddamn years and still haven't been able to afford. That house... That house, I just now got on Zillow, and it today only, because I was on there yesterday, today only, now it has a pending offer. So that's the end of that fucking dream. The day that I finally get a job so that I can buy that house is the day that house is no longer for sale. So I'm still trying to get hired on with this company. Um, I've been here for three days and it's not going to be until tomorrow now that they supposedly are going to have a truck ready. Again, my dog is not here. He is back home suffering in this unbearable heat and I hope he's still okay and I hope I can get by there sometime soon. So. I just want to get home and get to my goddamn dog. That's my primary focus right now. The uh, main recruiter just called me from the lobby of the motel up to the phone room. Uh, the, the room's phone, because my phone does not connect to the fucking network anymore, because I am past my, my billing cycle and I don't have but $70 in my pocket. And if this doesn't work out, I'm going to need that $70 to last me until the next job opportunity. And I'm not going to be able to afford phone service. So, hooray for me. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's probably going to be 24 hours before I know whether or not I have a truck. So I get to sit here and wonder if my dog is still alive. This is never the position that any company wants to have me in because it always ends up bad for them. Because usually I sit here and I'm thinking, 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 and eventually I'm like, you know what, fuck it, and I end up doing what's best for me. So... Uh, the, I hope, I'm hoping to hit, get a phone call later today saying that they have my truck ready to go. Well, I think I'm about 13 seconds from quitting these people, and I haven't even gotten the load yet. So they finally gave me a goddamn truck, which was supposed to happen yesterday, and I should have had the dog already by now. I should have been home to make sure he's not dead yet. Instead, they want me to sit right here for the next 30 fucking hours with no food, no water, no anything, and wait until I can, uh, until tomorrow arrives, 30 hours from now, I can go over and pick up the load, wait however many hours it is to get loaded with a reefer that's usually 67 hours. I'm not exaggerating. Then drive the five hours back home and see if the dog is still alive or even there. And I am fucking freaking out about that. And because my phone now no longer works because they have taken so goddamn long to actually get me on the road, 
Uh, I have no source of income coming in, which therefore means I have no way of paying my phone bill, which means I have no fucking phone, which means I can't use the navigation on it. I can't use any tracking shit that they're wanting me to do, which I they just now informed me after a week of being at their orientation and shit and waiting to actually being handed the keys. They wait a week to finally tell me, oh yeah, we need you to have a phone. Oh, well, guess what? I had one a fucking week ago, but I ain't got one now. So, whose fault? Not mine. So, yeah, they are just really fucking making me regret working for them. And I am seconds away from putting my shit in my truck, handing them their keys and fuel card back, and saying, clearly this ain't going to fucking work. They didn't mention anything about, one, I'm going to need shot records. He's a fucking rescue. I haven't had a chance or a job yet to go and get him his shots, let alone records of said shots. So that would have been information you should have told me before I drove all the fucking way here. Uh, telling me I need to have a working phone. Uh, this is a conversation we definitely needed to have two weeks ago when I started trying to work for you people and going through your drug screens and all your bullshit. So, I'm, I'm, I am, f my truck is right there. I am seconds away from saying, fuck it. You know what I mean? In their orientation, they're like, oh yeah, if you, if you quit within 60 days or 90 days or whatever, you gotta pay us money for the, for the drug screen and physical and shit. First off, I didn't ask you for the fucking physical. I've got a two-year med card. I don't need the physical. Why you chose to do that on your own part and not tell me is on you. And to then say, oh, so if you quit within 90 days, you're going to owe us money for it. Uh, again, on you because you said nothing to me until two days after it took place. So, yeah, I don't owe you shit. So, I've got that looming in my head as well. But man, are they one shitty fucking company. And I ain't even started working for them yet. This is why I have a list of questions that I ask before I go to work for a fucking place. If you don't get through my deal breaker questions, we don't even get this fucking far. And I had to not ask my non-deal breaker questions because I was in desperation mode and have no money in my pocket. So, that's where we're at with that. And so I'm sitting here with no job, no money, no prospects for the future. Yeah, no, fuck it. I've worked for enough shitty companies. No. No, they're doing the exact same thing that the last... I have, in the last 14 months, I have gone through four companies' full entire orientations, and that's including this one. I have gone through four full orientations, and then at the fucking very end, even though I have asked the questions from the fucking beginning, at the very end, they kick me in the dick and say, yeah, you know all that shit we told you? <laughs> we was lying. Why the fuck do they wait until they give me the keys to the truck? Why do they wait a week into me going through their bullshit before they fucking do that? Now all of a sudden they got a fucking problem with the dog. Now all of a sudden they can't give me the load. Now all of a sudden I'm not going to get any fucking lunch or anything. They want me to sit in their yard for another day and a fucking half. Oh yeah, and now we want you to have a phone. Oh, well you should have fucking hired me 14 months ago then when I had one. It's not from my lack of fucking trying. I've been applying to everybody. Okay, it's on you. Jesus Christ. Look how much I'm fucking sweating. My fucking arms are glistening. I went in there, tried to talk to them. I can't talk to them. They, you need a key to get through the fucking doors, and they've got uh, their backs turned to you. You can't fucking get their attention. So. I can't see anything in their face. I can't send them a message on my phone. So, I think today 
or yesterday or even the day before might have been the last day of my billing cycle. It looks like miraculously my my GPS might still be working. And if that's the case, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it just to get home. Hope like hell the cops don't fucking stop me or mess with me on the way. They do, I'm gonna have to lie my ass off, say I've been working for the last eight months, which is why I don't have insurance or registration or anything on my truck. And lucky for me, I get to listen to this shit. The wind noise, the road noise, cars buzzing by, honking and being assholes and whatnot. And uh, that's because I left my fucking memory card, it's got my music on it, and the stereo in their fucking truck. Yay. All right, several hour drive later. I'm about ready to go in my gate. I hope my fucking dog is alive and well. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. My dog is sitting there, wagging his fucking tail. Come on, come on. Where's my dog, where's my dog? Where's my, that's a good motherfucker. He is not here. Well, clearly he did not unhook himself. So somebody came and took my fucking dog. I'm gonna go over here and uh, see if my neighbors are here and talk to them, see if they've seen him. Food and water, barely been touched. The food mostly has been touched, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't stray animals, so. And again, he was right here, right next to the food. He could easily reach it, so there was no reason for anybody to unhook him. And it wasn't even tight, so. Yep, whoever did it. So that notwithstanding, it does look like a considerable portion of food has been eaten. Not very much water, so I don't know, maybe... If he broke free somehow, which doesn't make any fucking sense, the possibility that is so remote, he had two completely different colors with two completely different hooking attachments on it. And it doesn't look like the uh, steel cable has had any tampering with it at all. So somebody had to come up and unhook him and take him out of there. So whoever the fuck did it could not see him from any roadway. without tampering. There is a gap in between my fence and this thing. There should not be a gap here. Nor should this be shifted over several feet. Well, I just keep getting dick punched. Come home, I pop open the fridge, I grab me some uh, Kool-Aid that's been sitting in there, and I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be so good. I don't even think about it. I just wrap my lips around the end of the fucking thing, I'm thinking, oh, a cold, sugary drink? Mmm. I just start chugging on the fucking thing. On Upon completion of my chugging, I want you to bear in mind, I've only been gone four days. Four. Four and a quarter, give or take. And I've left my fridge and everything still running the whole goddamn time I've been gone. And as I as I pull the thing back, I'm thinking, it's a weird taste. At the exact instant, I also notice some black shit growing on the inside. Yeah. Good Kool-Aid. Maybe I'll get lucky and it'll fucking kill me. Had I actually taken the time to do what I normally do, I, I didn't know where my cup was. I forgot that I had it sitting in the freezer, all frozen. Had I actually taken the time to look for it, find that, and then start pouring, I would have noticed all the enzymes growing on the inside of this fucking thing. 
So, yeah, uh, I'm not worried about that because I got myself a little steam cleaner thing, so I'll uh, clean the ever-loving shit out of that. I have got a sliver of gasoline. I mean, it's just above the E. And I got no money. Somebody just texted me for the sign that I put out front, and they said there was a dog out here very skittish that wouldn't come to them. So I texted them, thank you very much, I'm on my way. So. There's no fucking way that he unhooked himself. There's no fucking way. There's no way. Two completely different attachment devices. Two different colors. One steel cable. The cable's still there. There's no fucking way he unhooked himself. Somebody had to have done it. They may not have taken him, but somebody came on and unhooked him. There's no fucking way. You miserable little shithead. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, he doesn't look to be covered in fucking ticks. What the fuck? Give me a goddamn heart attack. Oh, hey, back here, back here. Get in the back, get in the back. Like I said, I went and, I went and got water, so he doesn't he doesn't have anywhere to sit up front. Not that you deserve to sit up front with me. Why'd you do that? Hmm? Why'd you do that? I'm glad you're not covered in cow shit. Very glad. Which means you must have taken off today. Look at this. Look at this. He's still wearing the fucking things. Look! How the fuck? It's one of those... It's one of these fucking little clasp deals. It's not fucked up. And this... This carabiner... Still spring-loaded, still fucking... How the fuck? Somebody had to have come onto my property and unhooked him. Give me a motherfucking heart attack, goddammit. Last fucking thing I want to lose is you. I got nothing else. Now I gotta go clean his fucking fur because he's got those those hitchhikers. Those these little fur ball looking little sons of bitches that stick to everything. He's got a he got a shit ton of them on him. Put up a sign saying, even though I got twenty fucking dollars to my name, I put up a sign saying reward, I would pay the last fucking dollars I got to get him back for information leading to the arrest and conviction of whoever the fuck took him. There's no way. You look at this shit, it's, it's perfectly functional. I had two of them hooked to that damn cable. There's no way they both magically failed. The odds of that are astronomical. Look at you all happy and excited and shit now. Somebody definitely fucked with him. I can smell air freshener in his fur. So somebody definitely took him, and maybe he escaped from them? But there's no way in hell he unhooked himself. There's no way in hell. Somebody did it. Somebody put air freshener on him. <sighs> maybe it could have been the goddamn person that just texted me and said, Hey, I saw a dog out here. Yeah, most likely. It's probably them. You want more drink? You want more drink? You want a drink? You want a drink? Come on. Give me it. Give me it. Come on. Good. But judging by the amount of food that I've already seen him eat since I got him back, he's been gone for at least a day. So, whoever it was came in here, uh, I think today's Thursday, so they probably came in here Tuesday. Maybe early Wednesday or late Tuesday. And took him and then maybe he split from them. And next thing I know I'm getting a text from somebody. Anonymous. Which is probably the kidnapper themselves. So, But I've got him back. So guys throw me a goddamn bone here. Just fucking pray for me or something. Jeez just. I'm, I'm fucking trying here. 
I don't have enough food to make it through the summer or or till till whenever. Uh, I don't have cell signal, <laughs> which is why that's laying on the ground. Uh, I don't have gas for my truck, so anyway. Hopefully, 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 hopefully the next video you guys hear from me is that I have bought a house. <laughs>